Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation uh, with a, uh, turns out, another uh, video on using Google Earth for nautical charting. And in fact, this is a brand new one that in many ways replaces what we've done earlier. But we've just run across this, uh, this technique, which is actually pretty phenomenal. Uh, I don't think it's brand new, it's just that we just found it. And so we'll tell you about that here. And then... Um, uh, show some more. So uh, this, uh, let me, here's a page, and I'll put this in the instructions to the video. This is the page online at NOAA that actually describes the process, and then ultimately this is the main link that you need to get the file, this KMZ file that works on Google Earth. So the way that would work is we go to uh, Oh, I don't e uh, okay. Oh, so here's the NOAA site, the one I mentioned uh, in there. And then down here, this is the link right here. So you click this link and then save it like that. And is there only small, a couple hundred uh, megabytes or uh, kilobytes or something. Then you can go to your uh, Google Earth, which is right uh, here, Google Earth. Oh, that's what we were looking at, Google Earth. And then go to your downloads where you uh, save that file. I, it looks like I have two of them there. That doesn't matter. And just grab that from your downloads and drop it on the Google Earth like that. And then you see this phenomenal picture. This is actually every NOAA chart that's made uh, here. Every single one is outlined. So this is, they have some nice viewers on their website, but frankly, this is the, be the best one we've seen for looking at every possible chart. And also, we'll see here in a minute, it's also the quickest way to download the eChart version. And what we've been working on lately is this chart right here in this region, which is the one we use in our training charts. So if you click that chart then, then you have, uh, first of all, you can, uh, uh, you can actually download the chart. That'll just download it right to your computer. But here then, you have two views, one with a border on it and one without. So if you put the, put the without the border, then you can put charts next to each other. And now it just loads that chart right onto, right onto your computer. And furthermore, it'll be saved there. So you can have multiple charts to look at, or you can uh, use uh, just one or two or whatever. But so when that chart is there, then you can uh, zoom in on that, like that. And then the tools work here for me measuring range and bearing, you know, between uh, two places like uh, here and uh, here, uh, oh wait a minute, did I, oh yeah, I did it backwards. But anyway, there, okay, click it, and oh well, there you can read, it. why did that stay? Well, I don't know why that's not staying. But um, there you've got the range and bearing between those two points and so on, so you can do that. But uh, the, here's one of the really, if you go, really impressive things, go to the bottom down here, and uh, I see my cursor, and then down the bottom of the page, then click this, Let's see if I can get, th and then you have the transparency button. So this is the transparency button here, and you can change the transparency like this. Now look, look at this, for example. Let's just zoom in here. Where was I looking at? Uh, just Oh, here's the one we were looking at. Uh, this is the lighthouse. Here's a lighthouse at uh, Edez Hook Lighthouse right here. And now, if I just take that transparency down, let me zoom way in here. You see on the actual Google Earth image, that's the lighthouse right there, right like that. And now if you take the transparency out a little bit, you see that? You've got really super precise locations of objects and coasts and so forth. Even this buoy, now buoys may not be in the right spot, uh, you'd have to zoom in here. Yeah, oh, it looks like there's the buoy. Ah, the buoy's off just a little bit. But anyway, so there's the technique, and you're looking. Now, I'm not, I've got to put up the opacity. Okay, there you go like that. So there's a chart. Then you can also look at them with a border on them, or you could look at any chart, like here's one out here at the, 
or Nia Bay or something and look at a preview of that one. It's just, and then they, this all over the world, so I mean all over the U.S. waters. So you can go in and do the same thing there. And then uh, you can practice here with saving. These are the two views that I looked at, and they would be saved. For example, you could shut these off. Let's see. Shut that off, turn it back on, and so forth later on. And then, uh, for example, if you want... So, um, if you want to download one of the charts, let's say this little guy here, you want to download it, you would just uh, click that guy, click it, and then go to download the chart, like that. And then this pops up this screen where you say it's okay, I agree, and you click it, and then you say save, and uh, then you've got here that chart. Uh, there's the there's the chart for you all ready to go in the BSB format right there so this is uh, all in all and then you go back to Google Earth here all in all one of the really nicest things we've seen here for a while in charting later we'll come back and look at some things over on the East Coast here remember things we mentioned earlier that you want to keep keep the chart north and also in your Google Earth preferences under navigation click this button do not automatically tilt you want the charts to be flat when you're looking at them and we'll we'll look at this so we'll look at some of these more charts uh, these other charts later but you can look at any chart it's a really very slick uh, application